one. Boo! Oh, hope I didn't scare you all there. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the special Halloween and indeed early edition of Entom and Volk's board game Blowout. We've selected four spooky sort of games. Well, I say sort of. You're not exactly going to get jump scared here, but I'm rambling now. We're going to be playing Zombie Dice, Elder Sign, uh, Gloom, and we're going to finish things off with Ghost Blitz. So, uh, Volk, we uh, didn't really have time to practice these games on account of me stuffing my face with dominoes. Hey, it's payday. Sue me, okay? So, uh, you're going to teach, I'm going to learn, and hopefully we're going to have fun. So, take it away with Zombie Dice. Alright, Zombie Dice is a very simple game. If you understand the premise of Yahtzee, then this will be very familiar to you. The idea is, on each of our turns, we take three dice from this here bag, and they all have green, yellow, or red faces, and they give difficulty. So greens are easy, yellows are medium, and red are hard. And what we are looking for whilst we are rolling our dice is juicy, juicy brains. Brains will give us victory points in order to win the game. I believe the amount of brains required is 13. Yep, just checking the rule sheet over here. And okay. as you roll your dice, you will also get footprints or gunshots. Uh, gunshots means you take a hit. You can take up to three hits before you die. And footprints are just a neutral dice face. It doesn't do anything. You don't get points, but you don't get shot in the head either, which is uh, preferable okay. for a zombie, I suppose. And once you've rolled your three dice, you total up how many shots you've taken or how many brains you've devoured. And then you can opt to either roll more dice or you can stay with what you've got and you can take those points. It's a push your luck kind of game. So whilst you can get uh. lots and lots of brains, if you get shot too many times, that's it. You don't get any points for the brains that you have accumulated. So you have to be pretty careful. Okay. But uh, that is I, about uh... the gist of it. I just remembered that I, I possibly need to turn you down in Discord if I can find you. There we go. Good stuff. So uh, I guess I'll go first, rolling three dice. Yep, so take three dice out from this bag. It has already been shuffled, so let's see what you get first. You get a yellow, a red, and a yellow. Ooh, pretty tricky Jeez. start. Okay, so uh, take all three of those dice at once, give them a good shake, and roll them across that there table. Okay, uh... Alright, we got one brain, we've got and two footprints, so let's put these over here for a second. So that is not bad, especially for difficult dice, so are you going to give it another go? Hmm... Because you haven't taken any gunshots yet. Is it yet. possible? Is it possible to stay and have I won any, po won any points? See, I've got to ask these questions as we go along, just so I don't get stuck. As of right now, you have a single victory point, and you haven't taken any gunshots yet. So, that's one for me, then. Yep, that's right. Just so, very. Okay, just checking, just checking. Uh, I'm going to pass on this one. Uh, what do footsteps do again, please? Uh, footsteps means your victims escape. Keep your feet dice in front of you. When you choose to roll again, you will re-roll these dice, along with enough new ones to bring you to a total of three. So... If you were to go again, you would roll these two dice again, and you'd get one fresh dice from the bag. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to stick with that one, or are you going to try your luck and uh, roll again? I'm For my first turn, I'm good. It's your turn now. Alright, uh, let me put these back in the bag then. Give it a good shuffle. And uh, let's see what I get. There's a green, there's a red, and a yellow. Oh, very nice. We got the whole trifecta. So, uh... Give these a roll, see what happens. Alright, so that is a gunshot and two footprints. Mm. Alright, at this point I don't really have anything to lose, so I'm going to roll again. So I'm going to take a new dice and then re-roll this red and this yellow. And see what I get. Ooh, okay, so that is two brains and some footprints. And I reckon I'm going to stick with that. I think the risk of getting shot twice is a little bit too much. So I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to give myself two points. Not and bad. There we Not go. Bad. Um, 
it's going a little bit over my head right now, but it feels like a game I could pick up easy, because it is literally just rolling dice, honestly. Yeah, pretty much. The idea of pushing your luck is uh, more amusing the more players that you have. I Because when yeah. you have more players, it's like more pressure on you to um, go for the high rollers if you have to. Or you could just go as far as possible and just make it really, really difficult for your opponents. Oh, no, I don't want the whole bag. I just want one, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm going to roll all 13 dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the 13 die of Scooby-Doo. Ooh, what have we got here? you got three greens, so uh, you've got a pretty good chance of getting a couple of brains here. So go ahead and give those a roll. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Poffa needs a new set of brains! Uh, I'm going to say re-roll this one, if you could, please. I can throw one off the stage, but that's fine. That's okay. There you go. That one there. Because that was kind of on the side, so... Reroll the uh, footprints. Okay. Oh. Got to deselect them. There we go. That's a gunshot. So you got two brains, and you've taken one hit. Uh, would oh. you like to have another go? <sighs> so, what does this entail in terms of points now, then? Uh, well, so far, you've gotten two points and you've taken one hit. You get two more hits and you fail and you won't score any points. Um, if you take two brains, mm. then it's obviously two more points for you. Uh, I'll take the points, bringing me up to three. Very well, then. I shall go ahead and pop these back in the bag, give them a shuffle, and uh, let's see what I can turn up. So, two greens and a red. Not ideal, but not absolutely terrible either. Alright, so that's a footprint, a gunshot, and a brain. So, a little bit of everything. Alright, I'm going to take a couple more dice, and I'm going to have another go. And pray I don't get two gunshots. <laughs> ah, that is a brain. And two footprints. Alright, I'll take another one. And uh, let's give us another go, shall we? Come on, go shot. Two brains! Oh, oh. Nice! Alright. Christ. I'm gonna stick with that, so uh, that'll be four brains for me, bringing me to a total of six. Okay, alright, I'm, st I'm starting to glean how this works, so give that a bit of a shuffle. Uh, you got the one, you got the two. And you got the three. Ooh, another uh, dangerous so two... set of dice there. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to throw it towards me this time. This plan can't fail. Alright, that's two mm. gunshots and that'll be a brain as well, I believe. Yep. So, Ooh, lordy. You've already taken a couple hits, but you've used two red dice already and I believe there's only three in the bag. Mm -hmm. Am I able to draw another die? Well, in this case, you draw three new dice. Okay. So Since you didn't one, get any footprints. Two. Three. Oh, can you keep drawing so long as you don't get, like, complete footprints? Yeah, pretty much. Footprints are the only ones that get re-rolled. Other dice you replace. Okay. So, there you go. What have we got? That is a full set Ooh. of brains. So that's another <laughs> three points for you. Let's bring nice. you... Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Stick with that. Bring me up to six. Uh, that actually brings you up to seven because you were on three originally. Ah, okay. So there we go. You're keeping a one step lead ahead of me, so I might have to start really pushing the envelope here. This seems like a pretty quick fire game, so we could probably do like a best two out. Yeah, absolutely. This is one right. of those like really easy to get into party games. I quite like it. Mm -hmm. So that's a gunshot and a brain. So uh, let's pull out a couple more dice and see what this becomes. All right, that's another brain. That's another gunshot, and that is a set of footprints. So I'm going to stick with those two and hope you don't just get like five brains and win. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. My my luck has uh, been decent on a board game blowout, but you never know, it could change in an instant. Well, that is just Come the on. nature of luck in general. Alright, so that's two right. gunshots and a brain. 
Well, I've got no footprint, so I guess that means I just have to take the point and flee, essentially, right? More or less, unless you want to really chance it. No, I'm good. Alright. Playing it smart. There we go. So what we got? A red, a yellow, and a green. That is the trifector. So let's see what we get here. Two brains of the footprint. I am reasonably happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and roll a couple more. Ooh, two reds. That could be dangerous. Ooh, that could have been very, very close to disaster. Why did that phone that? There we go. That's better. So I'm going to take those. So that's three points for me, bringing me up to 11, which means I just need two more to win. Shit. Sure. So, what do the colours actually mean? Because we've been playing as if they haven't really meant anything. The colour is just difficulty, so the green faces has more of the uh, either brains or neutrals, whereas the red ones have more gunshots, and the yellow is somewhere in between. Okay, alright. So, it just basically sense. means a red right. dice, you have a good chance of getting shot. With a green one, you have a good chance of getting a brain. Gotcha. Oh, the dice gods are looking favourably on me, ladies and germs. Alright, that's Ooh. two brains and a shot, so... That'll bring you up to ten. Uh, can I draw some more die? Yes, you can. Give yourself three more dice to use. Okay, well, let me just pop these over here. Yeah, that makes it easier so to as long as, I, as long as I don't draw two more shotgun blasts, I'll be fine. That is correct. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm playing with fate here. Playing with fire as well, by the looks of it. That is not a good set of dice to have, but you got yourself a brain out of that deal, so that's not too bad, but. Hmm. You have to basically I... play it on the sense that how much are you willing to bet that I can get two brains and not die? I'm gonna stick, and I'll go to 11. Alrighty. Okay, so let's grab these guys. And give it a good shuffle. All right, so I just need two brains to win. Let us see if we can make this happen. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> that ain't good at all. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have to uh, take a couple more dice, I think, and uh, hope for the best. Got Come speed. on, give me the brains. Hey! No! All right, I'm gonna stick with that. Go to 13 and take. The first victory of our two out of three bout. Oh, damped. Damped, damped, damped. <laughs> hey, it came pretty close, though. I, when I saw those two gunshots, I was like, oh, this is how it ends, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that was fun. Yeah, let's play uh, another couple rounds. All right, you can go first this time, mate. Alrighty, then. Although, having this board game blow up today just reminds me of how many board games I picked up while I was in London over the weekend. I have so oh, many. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we can make of this. But uh, I actually bought four new board games to add to my collection, so I'll have plenty to do over the coming weeks, I suppose. Uh, for those of you wondering mm -hmm. in the chat, I managed to pick up Scythe, Terraforming Mars, Seven Wonders, and Machi Koro. So a lot of Euro games. Alright, so I have two gunshots. I ain't got any brains yet, so I might as well play on. I ain't got anything to lose, nothing to gain. Oh! <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I've been shot to pieces, but that's okay. It's bound to happen eventually. Alright. Uh, so, does yeah. that just mean you skip your turn, or it goes to me then? Yeah, it goes to you. If you get free gunshot wounds, any brains you've accumulated are worth nothing, because you're dead. Gotcha, gotcha. Relatively easy to... Uh understand game overall. I was worried it would be a bit more complicated, but uh, that'll probably be like the second and third game we're playing, so uh, wish me luck, fam. Ooh. I got one brain, I got one gunshot, and I got one footsteps. Alright, so that one there will be re-rolled if you desire more dice. Yes, so I'll draw two. Ooh. Ugh. This is tough. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, you've been oh, shot to pieces oh. as well. We're not very good zombies this <laughs> round, are we? 
We're no, not the no. we're not the Walking Dead brand of zombies. We're more just like those really slow, shuffly ones that think they're gonna get something done, but ultimately don't. Yeah. But as far as um, Silver Dude asking how the expo went, it was pretty damn fun. Um, I wouldn't rate it as the top expo I have been to out of all the London ones I've been to, but it definitely wasn't the worst either. I'd say a comfortable middle ground, so maybe top three, Ooh. top four, something like that. I have to say that the Red Dwarf panel they had on the uh, Sunday was probably one of my favorite panels that I've uh, ever attended. It was a reasonably a good amount of fun. I see, so you can start comboing now, because all you drew was brains. Yep. Unless I draw three gunshots now, in which case that'll just be a horrible reversal of misfortune. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna chance it. Alright, so that's a gunshot. And I've got a red and a yellow. You know what? I'm not gonna risk it this early on, so I'll take the three points. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. See, he's smart, this one. He knows when to cut and run. Uh, did you meet Smeghead? Um, actually, I've met pretty much all of the Red Dwarf people at this point, except for Craig Charles. Um, I actually saw Aww. Chris Barry in, uh, May when I went then. Uh, Danny on John Jules was actually the first Red Dwarf member I met, and that was at my first MCM. And then I mm. met Robert Llewellyn in the second or third? I don't remember which. Yeah, they're pretty damn great people. Also, um, I forget her name, the one who plays Holly as well. I met her probably about the same time as I met Chris Barry, actually. So uh, that- Oh my goodness me, that is a lot of brains. <laughs> um, I'm gonna roll again. Oh, he's, uh, getting the big cojones, this one. Oh, Look back yes, far I am, him. Bob. Yes, I am. Holy <laughs> crap, how have you not drawn a red dice yet? <laughs> you I don't know, git. man, I'm just that good. Ooh. Oh, oh, you lost all your brains! <laughs> oh, you... Well. Oh, you thought you had it all, but then you lost. Ah, uh, well, you try your best, but you don't succeed. <laughs> Actually, I have a pretty funny story about the uh, Red Dwarf panel that happened on the Sunday, because we got there as the doors were pretty much open for the theatre, where they would be, and they uh. were giving out some free stuff, and... One of the things they were giving out was a plushy Master Ball. It's literally just like a cuddly Master Ball type thing. Uh, let me see. Right. I'm going to stick with that, so that will give me one point. And they said, alright, who wants this plushy Master Ball? I literally just yelled as loud as I can, me! I got a mutant in my backyard and he's causing trouble! <laughs> it's just like it's a disaster, he's moving on my furniture! So he just goes up to me and says, <laughs> Are you aware that you could probably just get Red to sort that problem out for you? It was just like, are you kidding? I don't have that kind of money! And he sort of looked at me. He looked at me for like 10 seconds and he thought, Alright, it seemed like you're having a real problem with this one, so catch. <laughs> so, nice. through Spoo Shield Charisma, I suppose, if nothing else, I scored myself a freebie. So, I was very okay, happy guys. with that. So, I have to draw one die now. Yep, that's right, and then you re-roll the other two. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I'm actually really liking this game. Yeah, there's a uh, Cthulhu variant as well, if you're more a fan of the Cthulhu mythos as well. And I think Cthulhu Dice adds a couple extra stipulations in there as well, if you uh, like to make things a bit more interesting. But I like the simplicity of this game. It's just a simple push-your-luck game. You can play it after a few drinks and, you know, not have to worry about remembering much of the rules or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stick, so that brings me up to two brains. Let's put all these back in the bag. Yeah. I love it even when they're like separate like that, they'll just all sort of converge <laughs> into the bag. It's really... <laughs> it's fucking... That's the sound effect of the die going into the bag. <laughs> it is the Tom vacuum. <laughs> Alright, that is a brain and two feet. So I will go ahead and take another dice. And give him another roll. Alright, so that's a dice and a gunshot. Alright, I'll roll some more. Why not? Oh, I think I got room to be oh, ballsy. I got enough of a nest egg to be ballsy, I reckon. That is two brains. Um, Hell yeah. I fancy my chances, not gonna lie. Now, do I be even ballsier? No, I'm gonna stick with this. So, one, two, three, four, bringing me up to eight. 
that. I need some. I need some good rolls. Oh yes. I'm already not feeling this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's a little rough, but not impossible to deal with. Oh wow, you made good use out of that one. So that's two brains and some feet. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Uh, another brain. That is looking promising. Yep, I need to keep pushing my luck here if I'm ever going to beat you in this round. Play it again, Sam! Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, that is uh, quite a nest egg you're building there. I'm more amazed how that red hasn't been a gunshot wound like once. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I'm just that good. Well, don't count your brains before they're festered, I suppose. Okay. So, I have six brains, uh, a walk, and a shotgun, so I'm going to risk one more roll of the die. Fuck me. Uh, this is going to be my undoing. This, you might regret Come that on. decision. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, no, I mean, stop! Oh, I think you just about managed it. That is a brain. So, uh, yep. that is a brain. Okay, I'm going that is a gunshot. Stick. So that brings me up to nine. Wow, you played that. That was reckless play. I commend you, sir. <laughs> thank you, thank you. There you go. All right. So now I'm on the back foot after what I thought were a couple of pretty damn good sessions with the dice. All right. Let's see if we can continue to put the pressure on. Okay. This is already not looking good. Alright, that is a single brain. Uh, that's a gunshot. Uh, yeah, and there's a red fez. So I'm just gonna take the single point and run, I think. You do that, you do that. Alright, you need to get three more in order to win. Um, I think you need to count, mate. Four more. Oh, yeah, four. It's 13, isn't it? Not 12. It, yep, it's spooky, mate. It is indeed very spooky. Alright, that okay, is so that's, uh, one brain. gunshot. Okay. Come well, on, I need at least four here. The odds are never in my favour, so uh, let's pray for a miracle. Ooh, that was very nearly a gunshot. Mm -hmm. so that's two brains, two gunshots. Hmm. I'm gonna stand. And uh, that'll bring me to 11. Alright. Let's see if we can make this happen. See if we can uh, finish this off. Or if we'll be forced to be a little bit more complacent. I don't like the fact that you're only two away from victory, so I may have to uh, press the issue here a bit. Even oh. in the face of multiple gunshot wounds. Come on, gunshot! All right, so that's a brain, and two feet. All right, okay, well you, let's keep going. Unless you, if you don't, if you don't get a gunshot here, you're level pegging with me, so that's good. Oh, if it wasn't for the gunshot, I would have done it. But nope, that's me shot down. Close, but <sighs> no cigars. So uh, there you go, Tom. It's up to you to close this out now. Okay, go. Okay, we got a green. We got another green, and a yellow. Hmm. That is already not a bad combo. No, no, you need to all get in there. Come on. Two gunshots in the brain. Ooh. I might get a second chance here. Yep. What do I have to lose? Everything. Come on, Tom. You can do this. They're all greens. Uh, yep, you did it. That would take you up to 14. Are you sure about that? Yep. One, One two, two, three, three brains. Three. Yep. There Wait. you go. You got it. <laughs> nice. All right, so that is a round of peace now. So we got one more for all the beans. Oh, yeah. All right, you can go I'll first go. this time, first then. Time. Yep, shuffle. Uh, one. I really like this game. This is fun. Hmm. Uh, 
Right, things are already not going well, so I'll stand with that. <laughs> One point to start us off. Righto. Let's see if mine ends up any better. Hopefully I don't get shot down at the uh, first hurdle this time. Uh, that's a brain uh, and a gunshot and some feet. So let's let's throw a few more dice. And there's another gunshot and another brain. I'll stand with that. So that gets me two delicious succulent points. And mm. your move. I will endeavour to do my best. <sighs> Come on, heart of the die, you can do this. Hmm, not bad, not bad. One, uh, one brain already. One of every colour, said Noah. Bring them all into the ark and throw them like blocks, if you will. <laughs> huh. Not great, but I've only got one gunshot, so, uh, might as well count my blessings. Indeed. But fuckity fuck. Nope, you've been shot down. It was all a trap. Noah was just trying to lure all the zombies and shoot them all in one place and then set the boat on fire. <laughs> oh, bring me two of every zombie. Bring me the Walking Dead kind, the Michael Jackson's thriller kind. All of them, it doesn't matter. I want them all on my boat so I can burn it and send it out to sea. <laughs> there you go. Ooh! Ooh. Well. I ain't got anything to lose, so, uh, may as well go for it. No. No pointos for me. El pointo noo. Nil point. There you go. Heard that many a time watching Eurovision, Jesus. Indeed. Alright, what are we working with here? Brain, brain, foot, so uh, I'll stick with those two brains. Put them over by the side there, please, my good chop. I shall indeed. Thank you. Alright, and now we uh, we roll again. I actually came across a really uh, interesting uh, dice game whilst I was at the expo as well. They had it on one of the uh, test tables, where you can kind of just sit down for like an hour or so and just play a random board game if you so desire. And the whole premise of it is that you actually make, you start with like a default dice, but you can actually remove the faces and replace them with new ones. Mm -hmm. And they can give you loads of benefits. So it's a bit like a deck building game, except your deck is essentially the dice, and you're replacing the faces with even better ones. So it's like, if you ever have worry about dice games, about rolling a one, this is like one of those rare opportunities where you can just remove the one. It's a pretty damn cool premise. Uh, one, two, three, four. Alright, so uh, I'm going to stick with that, and that'll bring me up to seven. Seven points, okay. Hmm. It's already not looking great for me, is it? But, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. It is kind of ironic how good I am at gathering brains, when I have very little of one to begin with. Well, I guess it just gives you more determination to get more. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, you could, you could have phrased that better, but you're coming from a good place, so I'll forgive you. Hey. Alright, I'll stick with that, so I'll give myself four points. It's not ideal, but I don't want to put myself even further behind pushing my luck at this point. Fair enough, mate. What are you drinking over there that clinks so beautifully? Uh, this is something called Ramune. It's a uh, carbonated drink sold in Japan, and the bottle... Uh, actually, the top of it is um, stopped with a glass marble, which you have to punch out with a little piece of plastic that comes with it. So the plastic, mm -hmm. so you push the plastic thing in, and then the glass ball falls into like a compartment at the top of the bottle, and then you can drink from it. Huh. Uh, do I have to like roll three more? Do I have to put these back in and shuffle them since all three of them are footprints? Nope, you just re-roll those three that are down there right now. Oh, okay. Cool. Just thought I'd uh, wait for confirmation. Okay, we've got a footprint da -da, and a brain. It's good enough for me to keep going. A couple more. Oh, come on, Papa needs a new set of brains. 
shotgun, brain, thoughts. Uh, I'll stick with that, and I'll go up two. All right. Well, you're, uh, you're not in any particular danger, so you can afford it. All right. Let's see if we can catch up a bit more. Getting away with a couple of brains is great, but getting him a couple at a time ain't gonna help me catch up. Oh, that is terrible. <laughs> that is all uh, kinds of no bueno. All right. Well, we're probably gonna get shot, but we may as well chuck these things. Oh wow! Oh my god! <laughs> Man, did I just accidentally walk into like a fully stocked gun shop or something? What the hell happened? Yeah. Well, that's what you get for letting Clements die of dysentery and get bitten inside the fucking car. It was pre-scripted. There was nothing I could do for him. All right, DSP, calm it down. All right, two brains and a shotgun. Nice. Uh, just to give you all clarification, we recorded a couple of Halloween episodes of Spot PC earlier. Uh, at the time this goes up on YouTube, you should have already seen the first one, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, which is a roguelike rhythm game, which is pretty sweet. Showed off some cool mods there. And uh, this afternoon, again at the time this goes live, uh, you'll be able to see Organ Trail, which is uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I actually quite liked how those two episodes came out, even though they were... Well, especially with Organ Trails, maybe a little bit on the basic <laughs> side, but they suit the theme. Yep. Yeah. Alright, that may have saved me a little bit, so I have a chance to catch up here. Hold on, let's shuffle this properly, and then go boop, and then go boop, and then go boop. Uh, not terrible, about average. Alright, that's two brains and a gunshot. Alright. No, that was clearly a brain. Oi, give me my brain back. Thank you. <laughs> I need it. Alright. See if we can uh, rack up a few more here. Maximum fail. Not oh, quite. Oh, balls. Hey, brain. Alright, let's go one more time, shall we? Alright, that's another brain. Uh, do we press the issue further? I think I'm going to stay with that, so that'll be four points for me. Bringing me up to eight. So I have almost okay. caught up, but it depends on how you roll here. Oh, joy. Two reds and a green. This should be fun. Alright, <laughs> here we go. Oh, yeah, that's about what you expect from a red dice. Well, I got, I got nothing to fucking lose. I'm gonna bring him over here. I'm gonna draw two more. <laughs> and there's the third one. <laughs> Shut up! I had rolled it. That didn't count. You know what? I'm gonna stick for that one brain. You went through, you went through like the ultra hard route. You sort of went the Dark Souls route to get that one brain. <laughs> the shame <laughs> yeah. is just not worth one more points as a result. First your dice. Oh, yeah, that's not very good, is it? Thing is, you're quite close to winning. But at the same time, I'm going to take that point, hope you fail, and then hope I can come back and win. <laughs> oh, well, be on your own end, mate. Uh, Alright, here we go, lads. You ready for this? Get ready for some fucking bands. Alright, I embraced. Alright, so, one brain, one shotgun, all I need is two more brains to win. I'll Actually, you only need one more brain thing. to win. Oh no, two, you know sorry. Damn, yeah, you know damn well what I meant. Okay. You got so, it! Yeah, I'm gonna stay. And ah, I'll win. You are the better zombie than me. Uh, I am the master of zombie dice! <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. Alright, let us go to our next destination on our spooky excursion. Uh, let us uh -huh. go into Gloom, shall we? Ooh. Alright. This will be another learning experience, because again, I haven't played any of the games that we're taking part in tonight. Yep, and admittedly, I haven't played this one that much either, but the premise of this game is also fairly simple. So, uh, uh -huh. let me have a good read of the rules here, just to make sure we are doing things correctly. 
Alright, we have a family, so you got the green family, I got the red family. I will deal us out five cards. And I shall explain how to play. So we have drawn our starting hand. Alright, uh, so during gameplay we can make two plays at any given time. The first will be to play a modifier, which is one of these cards in our hand. Uh, a modifier is the ones with the numbers on the left hand side. And they can uh. be used to uh, score negative points or positive points. What you are looking for in this game is for negative points, because the lowest score will win. And the idea okay. behind that is, is that you're supposed to make your family as miserable as possible before you kill them off. <laughs> oh, it's a very geez. dark game, so uh, in that case, you would either play a modifier on yourself to give your family less points, or play it on an opponent to give them more points and give them, you know, happiness and fulfillment. And when yeah, you are uh, confident I... you have built up enough negative points for a family member, one of the actions you can make is to play an untimely death card, which will kill off the family member, and you'll be able to cash up the points that they are worth. Okay, so you're basically stacking buffs or debuffs on a card, and then selecting, like, I don't know, Raigeki on it or something. Pretty much. The idea behind it is that you can stack many cards on top of one particular family member as you fight to make her happy or miserable and then you, and then they die pretty much and the game ends when a person has successfully 86 their entire family hmm interesting uh, I think you may need to redraw my cards because uh, I can't access any of them it's just like a still image oh really hmm okay uh, tell you what, I will uh, reset the game and uh, do it again for you. Thank you. Oh. Hey, the rules now. Nah, I just have to fuck with the family, make them miserable. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was what they wanted to call it at first, but they couldn't because you know family <laughs> reasons. <laughs> uh, you want a, you want a quick game of fuck with the family after Christmas dinner? Sure do. It's it's doing it again for some reason. It's just stacking them one top of the other. Hmm. How very old. Um, can you put them on the table? No, no. Well, I can't even select them. How very bizarre. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, let me reset this one more time. Because, yeah, it's coming up for me just fine. Uh, try picking a different color and see if that works. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, hold on a second. I will try it for you. So if I make you yellow, for instance. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see if this works. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, no idea why that was happening then, but, uh, oh well. Um, hmm. Are there supposed to be, like, midges in the middle of the card? Because I can't see some of them either. Uh, the idea is that the card is meant to be see-through, so, uh, there'll be, uh, some parts of the cards that are just completely transparent. Uh, okay, well, whew, worry's over. Let's get to fucking with the family. Alrighty then, so uh, we have some quick reference cards near the deck that we can uh, refer to. Uh, hold on a second, let me just give this another shuffle. So uh, you got your timing icon, so some have immediate effects, some have continuous effects. So they'll trigger where a card is played. Some are persistent effects, which uh, keep working even after the card is text are covered. And then you got response effects, which uh, are used often as a reaction to a play. So, the idea is, when you play your cards, you draw back up to your limit, and as one of your actions, you can discard your entire hand in order hmm. to draw a fresh set of cards. Okay. Uh, Alright then, so uh, let's see if we can make this work, shall we? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, for my first action... I am going to play Found Maggots in the Meat on, uh, let's see, let's play it on, uh, this lady here, Professor Helena Slogar, yes. Unfortunately, Helena went to the uh, recommendations of a uh, cheap restaurant as a result of not having much money after coming down on hard times. 
Unfortunately, they didn't pass a health inspection and got away without having a health certificate. So, uh, oh, unfortunately, she had a nice back of wiggly, wiggly meat, and uh, she went back very poorly that day. Alright, uh, oh. so as an effect, I discard a card from my hand. So I'll get rid of this one right here. And for my second card... I'm going to play... Was burdened by boils on the same one. Yeah, you wouldn't believe her luck in the same day. She suddenly came up with a horrible illness and boils erupted all over her body. It was the worst Jeez. day of her life. She just went out to try and get a nice cheap meal and came back with an upset stomach and boils all over her body. It was absolutely horrible. Alright, so as this one has an effect as well, give one card of your choice from your hand to the player on the right. Well... <laughs> There is no player on the right, so I guess that's just too big. I'll give you this one here, then. Hmm. And then I thing. shall draw back up to my hand limit. Okay, Coke. Well, uh, first of all, I hate the fuck out of Samson O'Toole over here, the bearded man. While bearded ladies are always popular, few people seem interested in Samson's remarkable deformity. Seems a bit petty, but, uh, uh let's see. Uh, he was griefed by ghosts. Paul Lado. Oh dear. Yep. So, uh, how many points lost is that? Because I see a minus 10 and a minus 20. That is a minus 10 and a minus 20, so that'll be 30 points in total. So, as also, you have to discard three cards from your hand. Okay, okay. Uh, and you want to get rid of the plus ones, like, primarily, I would assume. Or you can play them on your opponent. It's up to you which way round you want to do it. Eh, whatevs. Have him as this card uh, fodder. I've got... Go no, no, that's fine. I was just going to say, you can use him as this card fodder or save him to fuck with somebody else. Oh, so you can use your cards on your opponent as well. That's interesting. Yeah, so mm. the pluses you generally play on your <laughs> opponent. Gotcha. Uh, well, I've got another minus thingamabob, so I'm going to pop that on here. Ah, one thing you'll need to be careful of is that only the points that are on the top will actually count, so... If you play this card, you will be covering the minus 10, so I would actually recommend playing it on another family member, just to make sure you don't cover up those big old points that are going on over there. Alright, this con over here then. Alrighty then, so, uh, was... <sighs> procured by the pudding. I don't even know what that word means. Oh, but, uh, wow. I would assume... He... I'm assuming he went to the same restaurant and went for the pudding instead, thinking it would actually be better, but, uh... Nope, turns out the entire restaurant is shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, my hand back to you. Alright, so, uh... She woke... So, uh, poor old uh, Miss Helena over here. She had a horrible day, you know, she was throwing up, she was burning up all over the place because of the boils. But then she got a phone call from... from her mother to say that she was written out of the will. Oh. So, um, as you can imagine, that probably wasn't very good for her. And then... Beset by grief, she was eventually killed by a mob who burned her at the God stake damn. for thinking she was a witch. They saw the boils, they mistook them for wards, and they were, She is a witch! Burn her! And so she burned to a crisp. It was, um. It was absolutely terrible, and she died a tragic death. Hmm. Alright, so thanks to that, I will cash in these points over here, which will give me a total of 45. So I'll keep that as it is, and then we can total up the points at the end of the game. Right, right. Alright, hmm. so let me draw back up to my hand limit, and then I shall make it your turn. Uh... Hmm... Let's see. I. Hmm. I don't like the look of that Lord Slogar you've got, so, uh. Why don't I make your day and turn him into the toast of the town? Oh, really? So, uh, what brought that along then? This is kind of how you get a bit of role playing going in, if you so desire, so, uh. <laughs> oh, that's a bit beyond my, uh, comprehension, but, um. I don't know. The town was bored. 
they wanted to turn someone into an anti-pariah. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So, for this one here, your draw limit is increased by one card. So, hmm. So that means I get to have one extra card to play with. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm not done yet, so, uh... Hmm. Darius Dark is about to be cursed by the Queen. Oh, discard my entire hand. Ooh, that must be worth quite a few points, though, I imagine. Oh, yeah, that's a minus 15 and a minus 20. All I guess right. that's it. So, yep. uh, I draw another five cards. Yep. So, there we go. That's Not that. Alright, well. Hmm. There's something we can do about this. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Herm. This ain't good. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I am going to play this. Ooh. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 that's a death card. I don't want to do that just yet. Yep, yep, yep. Crikey, bikey. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, I will play... Come on. I'm just reading these event cards I got here. Move and discard and I did it from the card. Okay. Well, let's see this then. Alright, instead, poor old um, Toast of a Town was on his way back home from the big old celebration and he ended up getting trapped on a train. Ooh. It was, it was an absolutely uncomfortable time. He couldn't stand it. It was a very bad day overall. It kind of mired the entire evening. So, uh... Ooh. Then well, after I... that, I am going to play... Well, you can't play event cards. No, I can't play event cards, but I do have a untimely death card that I could play. And uh, I'm going to play it on uh, Grogar, the work in progress. Yeah, the bear, it died old and alone. It was just completely forgotten about. Uh, Melissa Slogar ended up getting a much better uh, pet cuddly toy. And uh, yeah, poor old Grogar here. He was just uh... left to... Gather dust in the attic and you'll never heard from again. That kind of sucks, but uh, at the same time I don't care, so... Mm. Alright, so I get a plus um, one hand to my hand limit, so I'm going to draw up to five. Nice. Hmm. Ah, uh, poor Alessandre Deville. Sadly, Alessandre's modesty prevents her from sharing her remarkable tattoos with the world. Oh, what a shame. And what's also a shame is this. Was taunted, taunted by tigers. <laughs> oh, you're not the ringleader this time. Skip your draw phase this turn, so I won't draw any at uh, the end of my thing. But uh, I do have um, do have a bit more to do, and Mr. Giggles is my next target. Oh dear, what's happening to him? Uh, was gold by gangrene? Ugh. <laughs> well, he's already a skeleton, so make sense of that what you can. Well, it makes me wonder what Pennywise did to avoid that fate. Alright, well, that's mildly unfortunate. The gangrene especially. I can't imagine that's very good. Alrighty then. So, alright. I got a little something something here that I could do. I am going to play this. So, um... Lord Slogar here, you know, after getting trapped on the train, he did eventually get back home and was uh, greeted in the mail by an uh, invitation to have a nice holiday in celebration of his great deeds to the town. Unfortunately, oh. it was a very, very horrible holiday. Oh my god. So uh, I have to discard my entire hand and on top of that, I'll need to skip my draw phase this turn. 
Ooh, that's a risky gamble, though. Let's see if it pays off. Mm-hmm. Right. I suppose I should have played one of these I'm... other cards first, but... Uh, well, no, no, no you've already played it now, so... Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. I'm saying it was a bit late for that, so... There we go. <laughs> Let's get rid of these. I have to skip my draw phase as well, which uh, sucks even more. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Hmm. This person over here, who I can't really see, because it's covered up by something. Um, it actually says on the top, that is Fumbalissa. I hate her name, so she can have a plus, uh, or a minus 15, rather. Wounded by wasps, not to mention being bothered by bees and harried by hornets. Oh, that's just terrible. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. I can't read what that actually says. Something, something there. Well, um, let's see. I don't like Elias's or whatever's face, so I'm gonna get gift him with some good luck for a change. This Ooh. dude just there. Okay, uh, let me uh, rotate this around. So, uh, what's happened here? Found fame at a feast. All right, so. I guess uh, uh, let me just yeah. read up on the uh, instant effects here. Uh, trigger when the card is play. If the card shifted enough, the enemy's effect is not triggered again. So, yep, you just get to draw two cards, so that's fine. Alright, so I have to skip my draw phase, and uh, I have to pass. So, I get to draw up to six cards again, because... Uh, Oh no, that's been covered up, so uh, I don't actually draw that sixth one. So you can go back on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's back uh, to uh, you. Uh, are we supposed to be drawing at the start of our turns? Because I've only been doing it at the end. No, you do it at the end. Okay. Just I Fair had enough. to pass my turn. Uh, okay, well, um, I think uh, Mr. Fucking... Oh, I have to scroll down so far to see his name. Darius Dark. He's a... Uh, He's had his time. So, uh, he was choked by a bone. Goodbye. Ooh. Alrighty, so, uh, that actually gets you 35 victory points in total. Uh, choked on a bone. What a shame. May he rest in peace. And, uh, you know, scandals, they come at us any time in our lives, but for Mr. Giggles, it comes now. He was scarred by a scandal. Discard my entire hand. Aww. I know. It's unfortunate. But he's, uh, he's a skeleton. He'll bounce back, so I'll draw five more. And uh, that's the end of my turn. Alright, okie dokie. Uh, that's something I want to check real quick. Okie dokie. Hmm. Alrighty, I well, think got I got Hulk. the, uh, I think I got an idea here. So, uh, poor old Elias de Gore, even though he, uh, found fame at a feast, he suffered from some sores the following week. It was absolutely terrible. The guy was itching, you know, he couldn't really, uh, get himself comfortable when he went to bed and at the end of the day, it was, uh, very terrible for him. Uh, some say he's even still suffering from it now. And then, um... Lord Slogar, he just he just got really really depressed over his um holiday. So uh, eventually, he was slain by an heir. Ooh. And that was the end of poor old Lord Slogar. Somebody wanted his position of power just that little bit more, and at the height of Lord Slogar's depression, he didn't see the man, his own heir, ready behind him with a kitchen knife. And that was Ooh. the end of Lord Slogar. And that's Can't actually worth an additional minus 10 points because he has the heartbreak icon. So, mm. this guy is actually worth minus 70 points in total. Mm. Alright, <sighs> so that'll All do right. for me. Unfortunately, with that death card, um, with the um, suffering from source card, rather, my draw limit at the moment is actually decreased by one card. So, I will only draw up to four. Four. Hmm, okay. And that'll end my uh, turn. 
let's see. What can I play here? Uh, you know what, Mr. Giggles, we've had a giggle, but uh, unfortunately it's time for you to die. <laughs> Alright, was consumed from within. God damn! <laughs> what on earth caused that? Come on, you got to have a good story Ooh. for that one. Um, when he died, there was a rat that crawled inside him, and it was an immortal rat. So it just kept eating and eating at the flesh until he was a skeleton, and then he was reanimated by a witch, and thus he was consumed from within. <laughs> he was the rat lander. <laughs> Alrighty, then what else you got for me? So that's actually worth... Uh, 50 points for you, because it also has the skull icon, so yeah, not bad. Nice. That is a pretty tragic man right. right there. Well, I'm seeing your dude suffering with sores. I'm just going to have to give you a reprieve. Discard all modifier cards of one living character, okay. Uh, hold on a second, I need to unlock this, so uh, let's go ahead and remove that. And that. And then I can put those into this card pile. And, uh, yeah, I guess that'll do me, so I'll draw two cards and have my turn. Okay. Ooh, I think I've got a good idea for this one. Uh, there's been a tragic misunderstanding, I'm afraid. Um, I get to choose two living characters and swap their top modifier cards. So, uh... Oh, jeez. I am going to swap. Hmm. Let's see here. Hmm. Actually, do I need to have a modifier already to be able to just swap, or can I just swap like nothing for something? That is a good question. Uh, it's just. No, you're swapping the top modifier cards, mate, so I don't think it matters. Yeah, true that. Okay. Pick, uh, just pick two living characters and you'll swap their top cards around. Alright, in that case, I know exactly what I want to do here. So, let's swap your and your around. So, let me just unlock these two. Swap them around. There, there you go. go. Just to uh, make things a bit trickier there. And uh, let's have a look here. What else can we do? Uh, hmm. Alright, I think I've got a good one here. Uh, so, we haven't seen that much about uh, Melissa Slogar here. We know that she got a new cuddly toy recently, which resulted in the tragic death of Grogar the bear. <laughs> so, um... I love how it died. Yep. So, um... In a poor streak of luck, she was uh, coming down the stairs, and she dropped her brand new cuddly bully rabbit, and she fell down the stairs and broke many bones as a result. Jeez. It was an absolute case of tragedy, you know. It just seemed ironic. The old favorite got discarded, and then the new one betrayed her when she was at her most vulnerable. <laughs> oh, Melissa. Life's a cruel bitch. It is indeed. I will draw two fresh cards, and then I shall end my turn. Okay. Alright, then. What have you got for well, us? You know what? It, it's not all doom and gloom for Melissa, because uh, she may be a clumsy bitch, but she's got a card. Ah, Okay. So, uh, what did you do there? Did you, like, go to a local poker tournament and then, <laughs> like, blatantly underage, you know? You had, like, the top hat no, and the no, shades no. and everything? No, 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 no. In the Slogar household, they look after one another. So, while she was, like, on the mend, her leg was in a cast and whatnot, she took up poker. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> I didn't say, I'm not good at ad living on the spot, okay? No, 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 that uh, was alright. I like that. Uh, All right, carry okay. on. Uh, you do get to draw one card, by the way, since you played that. Uh, isn't that for you? Uh, no, you played the card, so uh, if it's an instant effect, you get the effect. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Well, it's been fun, Mr. Bearded Guy, but unfortunately, you're feeling the burn. Ah, oh, so he is now the brownest of bread. So, uh, worth an additional minus 10 of the chalice icon, which he does not have. But uh, that is minus 30 points right there. Alright. So, both amassing some pretty tragic deaths so far, it would seem. So, uh, hmm, we'll have to see what we can do about this. Hmm. Come on. Alright, I think I got something here. Alright, so, Melissa. She may have been clever at cards. But, because she was underage, the fuzz eventually got to her and was put in prison. Christ. <laughs> yeah, didn't think they'd uh, catch up to her on that one, but uh, lo and behold, they did. And uh, at that point, she was on her way out of the prison cell. You know, she was going downstairs, getting ready to get some grub. When one of the inmates pushed her down the stairs, and at that point, oh she died. Oh my god. So uh, that's a minus 20 with an extra minus 10 due to having the money icon. So uh, that'll do for me. So I'm going to draw two more cards. And uh, that'll do for me. You're up. Alright, well first of all, your sole survivor was charmed by the circus. Because I'm a nice guy. You know, want to make sure he's having a good time. <laughs> uh, of course. And, um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is very tricky now. Um. Wow, my card sucks, so, uh, pass. Alright, you're gonna pass? Or you can discard your hand and draw a new one as an action. Oh, okay, well, I'll do that. Yeah, it's your second action, just discard your hand, and then at the end, you'll draw a full hand. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Your All turn. Alright, All right, let's see what we can do here. Alright, well. Miss um, Alessandra here uh, ran into a bit of uh, good luck. She was uh, very popular in Parliament when she was going into a uh, cushy government job, so, you know, she was doing very well for herself today, and, uh, you know, made her feel really good. And uh, I get to draw two cards. Disgusting. Alrighty. And then I'm going to play this. So, um, poor old Ilias, uh, he just got, he was charmed by the circus, but, um, he got contracted consumption. And, uh, to be honest, I don't really know what that exactly implies, but, um, I'm assuming that somebody took a cheeky nibble out of him at one point, and, uh, you know, he wasn't very happy about that. Put a bit of a damper on his day mm. after he got back to the circus. And, yeah. uh, this card decreases my draw limit by one, so... I am actually at my full hand limit, and I will end my turn. Okay, okay. Hmm. Let's see. I am, first of all, gonna play this. Aw, oh, poor whatever her name was. Chastised by the church, Alessandre. Well, you know, she was uh, getting uh, rather friendly with the government as to uh, balance in another place. In this case, it was with a good old JC. Hmm. And, uh, let's see, let's see. You know what? I feel bad that that dude, uh, contracted consumption, whatever the fuck that means, so I'm gonna play this. Ooh, you cheeky ass off. Was married magnificently. <laughs> so my draw limit will actually be increased, okay. Hmm. And uh, I draw one card for my turn. Alrighty then. So, um, there's been an unpleasant surprise. That marriage that um, good old Ellis Il Ilias was a part of kind of fell through very quickly. Um, turns out she just wanted him for the money and then just left. So, uh, what a bitch. That actually will be uh, removed. And then for my second action. Uh, as you can imagine, having uh, just married magnificently only to find out it was all a sham, 
It weighed heavily on his heart, so uh, unfortunately, he died of despair. It was a truly horrible way to go. They thought he was going to oh, have shit. it all. And uh, that's it. That is the story of my dear family. They all died horrible, tragic deaths, mired with just a little bit of positivity. I, uh... <laughs> I think I just got kicked from the server. Or maybe you maybe died with the rest of the family. Who knows? Possibly. Possibly. Alrighty then. It's okay. I'm coming back. Alrighty then. So, uh... Even though I managed to kill off my family successfully, the idea is that any dead family members are worth their face value of points. So, let's see what we got here. So, you've got with uh, Mr. Giggles, who died via inner consumption, and that gave you minus 50 points. Uh, you have Samson O'Toole, who was badly burned, and as a result got you minus 30 points. And then you also got Darius Dark, who choked on a bone and ended with minus 35, which gives you a total of minus 115 victory points. Mm. Alright, let's see what Could've I got bad. here. Alright, so uh, Grogar the Bear died old and alone, <laughs> so that's just minus 15. And then we got uh, Professor Helena, who was burned by the mob, had a truly tragic life, just so much shit happened to her. Mm -hmm. And as a result, she is minus 45? Yes, 45. So that's minus 60 so far. Then we got uh, Elias Igor, who died of despair. And uh, that would be minus 30. So that's minus 90. Then you got uh, Lord Slogar, who lived a very interesting life, filled with uh, tragedy. And that got me minus 70. Very big score of that one. And that yeah. puts me at minus 160, I believe. And then Melissa Slogar was pushed down the stairs after being sent to jail for playing poker whilst underage. <laughs> Netted me minus 30. So uh, that's 190 negative for me. So I win by virtue of my family having the most tragic life before their untimely demise. I, I, you know what I say to that? I say, fuck you, that's what I say. <laughs> I like how those see-through cards are still like, up there. <laughs> but there we go, well played. You, uh, you were getting into it towards the end. Many people don't actually think they're decent storytellers until they actually try it. It doesn't necessarily have to be like absolutely spectacular or anything like that. You can just have fun with it. You know, yeah, it doesn't have to be overly serious. Say. Just go for it. Just come, just say the first thing that comes to your head and just roll with it. That's the best advice I can give in that mm, situation. Mm, Alright. Oh. Would you like to give Elder Sign a try? We shall indeed give it a try. Alright, let us load this bitch up. And uh, let's find out exactly how to play this game again, because honestly, I have played this game once before, but it was a very, very long time since I last played it, so this should be interesting. Uh, I'm feeling very sleepy right now, so I hope it's not too hard to pick a rock. I don't think it is. It's one of the, it's a co-op game, so this will actually be the uh, first co-op game we end up playing here. Interesting. Just uh, wait for all the objects to load, because there are quite a few. Mm-hmm. Alrighty then, so uh, let's see if I can remember how to play this here board game. Alright, there aren't any rules handy, which helps absolutely nobody. So, uh, let's see. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is uh, pick an investigator. So, shall we pick two from the top and see what we end up with? Sure. Alrighty then, so I'll pick one for me, so uh, let's see who I am. I am Joe Diamond, the private eye. And uh, my special ability is each time I spend a clue token, I gain a second free reroll, as though he had spent a clue token. 
And starting items, I get a gun and a footprint. Hmm. And uh, all right, let's see who uh, I'm playing as. Flip. Sister, Sister Mary, Mary. Mary, the nun. <laughs> oh, Fifth and Bagora, Guardian Angel. Mary may ignore any lingering effects of Mythos cards. She may ignore locked dice icons during her turn, allowing her to add them to her dice pool as normal. At the end of her turn, all locked dice return to their locked dice icons. She starts with a pistol, a knife, and a book. That is one badass nun. Bloody hell. <laughs> Alright, so you have not very much in the way of health, but you have plenty of sanity. Which is very good, because the whole idea of the Cthulhu Mythos is that you are slowly going insane, so... That is nice. That is a good skill set to have. I get quite a bit of health, and I get about 4 sanity to my name, so... Not quite the mental fortitude as the nun with the gun, but, you know, it works out quite nicely. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh. Let us find out what Ancient One we will be fighting against today. And it is... Yog Sofof! Key in the gate. When an investigator suffers the penalty of another world card, that card is returned to the box and not used for the rest of the game. If other world deck becomes depleted, Yogg-Sagoth awakens and we basically lose. <laughs> so, uh, on the right here are the number of turns that we have in order to take that son of a bitch down. Okay, uh, let me shuffle this up. And uh, the idea is that we're supposed to collect Elder Signs in order to get rid of that there fat son bitch. And we need 12 okay, of okay. the things in total, I believe, in order to uh, send him back from whence he came. So uh, let me just uh, open up a rules PDF for this a second, just so I can refresh my memory of uh, how play goes in this particular game. Okay, man. So, place the clock in the center of the table, setting the clock hand to 12, which has been done. Uh, we're choosing an ancient one. Uh, prepare the monster cup, so place monster markers in the box lid or another opaque container so they can be drawn at random. Uh, I believe those are the monsters in there, so let's give them a good shuffle. Uh, set up adventures, so shuffle the adventure deck. So, and deal six cards face up. So, uh, these will be the adventures that we have to choose from, which will uh, aid us in defeating the foul beast known as Yog Sofof. Uh, distribute investigators, which we have done. Uh, we will choose a first player. I don't suppose you mind if I go first in this venture. <laughs> By all means, go ahead. Alright, resolve the initial Mephos card. So the first player shuffles the Mephos deck, places it next to the Ancient One, and then draws one Mephos card and resolves it. So, uh, let's see what we got here. The stars align. Add one Doom token to the Doom track. And the buffer clouds. Investigators cannot use spells or unique items today. So, uh, we don't have any unique items at the moment. And we don't have any spells right now, so that's fine. We can deal with that. Although the one Doom token, yeah. that's not so good. Let's we'll go ahead and pop this right onto here. So. Uh, let me see here. In terms of the uh, Mephos cards, uh, Doom tokens are placed here throughout the game. When each base has a token on it, the Ancient One awakens. So, just thinking if there's anything else here that needs to be um, considered, I don't think so. No. Uh, five attack. Ah, yeah, when Yogg-Sothoth attacks, each investigator must either discard one trophy or be devoured. So, uh, when he awakens... And uh, when we battle him, that's what will happen. So we could risk getting devoured, which will be no fun for anybody. Alright, so, <laughs> yeah. the way this works is that we move our investigation marker to either an, an adventure or the entrance reference sheet. So, uh, 
We resolve the adventure or wait at the entrance. So uh, what I will do is I will look at these here adventures and we'll see what we can do here. So uh, what would be a good one to go with initially? Alright then, I think what I shall do is I shall pay a visit to the missing record. Yeah, let's do the let's do ancient relics. So I'm oh, gonna go over here. Your mind, mate. Oh come on, there's a lot of adventures to choose from. Alright, so when we choose an adventure. So, the active player either rolls dice to complete task on the adventure card he is on, or if he is instead on the entrance reference sheet, performs one of the activities listed on the sheet. This is the entrance here, so you can either receive first aid, search the lost and found, or you can buy a souvenir, which involves using trophies to uh, get yourself some cool things. So, that is a potentially a thing you can do. Alright, so now I must attempt to resolve an adventure. So. If an active player's investigation marker is on the adventure card, he rolls the six green dice. So, there are six green dice over here. And you know what? I'm actually going to put the dice tower down if that is okay. So, uh, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Since there's a lot of dice rolling uh, going on here, seems like a good idea. A really nice table on board, I gotta say. Oh yeah, they went above and beyond with this one. Alright then, so uh, hopefully these dice will fit. I don't think they will, so I'm going to shrink them down a bit. And down they go. Where they will Most stop, nobody knows. Alright, so what have we got? So we've got clues, we got skulls. So uh, with our dice, we need to attempt to complete one of the tasks on the board. Note, investigators may also add a yellow die, a red die, or both to their roll, if instructed to do so by a game effect. For example, the result of spending a common item. If a dice is locked, a die cannot be used to attempt to resolve the adventure card. This will result in less than six green dice being rolled. So, let me see here. Uh, do I have a scroll in any of this? Yes, I do. So... I can actually complete one part of this. So, uh, what I can do is I can um, pop these on top of here, I believe. And then that will allow me to complete that particular leg. And then I can opt to try and complete the next part, I believe. So, uh, let me see here. So, rolling dice. Uh, yellow dice. Body. After rolling dice, the player compares the results required in the list of the task. If a player is able and willing to meet all the requirements for a single task, he completes that task. If a player does not wish to meet the requirements of at least one of the tasks on the adventure card, he fails to complete it. So, completing a task. When an adventure completes a task for each of its requirements that corresponds to the specific die result, the player then places a die with that result on top of the corresponding requirement. A die placed on the requirement may not be rolled again during this resolve and adventure card step. If a task requires a player to advance the clock, lose one sanity or lose stamina, he does so at this time. In case of investigation results, a player may need to place more than one die on the card to meet the task requirements. Place an extra die next to the others that were used to complete the task. Note a player may only complete a single task with each roll of the dice, even if the results allow him to meet that requirement. So, uh, since I have multiple tasks, I have to, uh, pretty much stop here and I'll move down to the next one later I believe mm. so let's see here so I can actually choose to complete the other task at this point now so mm -hmm. let's see here is there anything else I need to keep in mind for this. Alright. Doesn't look like it, so uh, let's see here. Let's pop those on there. Okay. Let's go and uh, re-roll these and see if we complete the other task. Ooh, okay.
<laughs> okay, let's see. Are you, are you gonna explain what's going on, mate? Because I'm confused. Okay, so I was um, rolling to see if I can complete the next task, and I failed, basically. So that was no good for me, <laughs> unfortunately. So uh, let's see. Apparently, I lose one sanity as a result of that. So I will put myself down one sanity, and oh my god, what the hell's going on for dice? They're just bouncing around all over the damn shop. <laughs> Alright, uh, you'll need to you'll need to reconnect, and then it will be your yes. turn, sir. Uh, oh, I'm trying over here, but I can't seem to get back in. Huh. Yeah, I can't get in. Well, damn. Hmm. Maybe it's just because this is a... F oh, no, wait, there you are. You are back. Is I'm the coming, Jesus! <laughs> is the game state exactly how you left it, as far as you're aware? I just talking to myself here? No, 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 no. I was asking if uh, the board state was uh, how you remember it being. Yeah, I can't hear you very well, mate. You're coming out. Seriously? Oh, oh you're ignoring me. I'm no, I'm not ignoring you. Right now, honestly. No, I'm not ignoring you. I swear. <laughs> hmm. All right, you uh, got your color. I'm back now. All right, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. All right, brilliant. Okay. Uh, you may now have an attempt at uh, doing one of these here tasks. Alrighty. Hmm. Ha -ha. What are you feeling? I'm feeling... Tempest in a teapot. Tempest in a teapot, eh? Mm-hmm. Alright, so I'll take all of these wonderful dice. Yes, yes, yes. And I will roll them. Alright, you got quite a selection there. So, uh, what are my options for? Alright, well. You've got the uh, four magnifying glasses needed to complete the first part. So this part here, you have these two, you then need a squiggly Cthulhu thing, which you don't have, mm. and then you got the skull and the scroll over there. So what you can opt to do, I believe, is you can lock your dice. So mm. if you want to, you can keep your skull. Or you can keep one of the scrolls, and then you can re-roll the dice that are left, and you can see if you can pick up the last two icons that you need. Mm. I'm going to be honest, I think this may be a bit too complex for me. No, 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 that's fair enough. Um, I might be, We can give it another try later when you're feeling up for it. But, in that case, shall we move on to Ghost Blitz? Yes, let's have a couple of games of that, just to uh, make sure people get the most out of their stream, as it were. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. I wanted to try you on it, because it is a pretty damn good um, Cthulhu-flavoured game, but it can be a bit tricky for some people to get the hang of right away. So, I wanted to give it a go, but if it doesn't work out, then that's just how it goes. Alrighty, so this game over here... It plays a little bit like Snap, so I'll show you how this game works. We have 30 cards in this here uh -huh. deck, and what we do is we flip a card, and it'll have a picture, which in this case is a green ghost. So, Aww. the idea behind this is that either you're looking for the right colored object, or you're looking for something else. So, we've got a green mouse there, so... For this one, you would pick up the grey mouse and put it over there. And if you pick correctly, then you get the card as a point, and then you'll draw the next card, which will be a like red ghost and a green rat. Now the problem is, in this case, not only is the ghost the incorrect colour, but the rat also is as well. So you need to pick something that is neither of those things. So 
You can't have a green thing, you can't have the red thing, you can't have the ghost, and you can't have the rat. So what you pick up in that case is the blue book, because that doesn't oh, match okay. any of those. And then that would get you the point right. for that one. Gotcha. And uh, same would go for that one there. There's no grey bottle, right. there's no ghost either. And uh, that would go from there. So the idea is you try to pick up the right object at the right time, depending on the card. And then you get that card as a point. Then whoever has the most is deemed the winner. The only thing I can't All quite right. understand with this game is why the ghost looks like a bullet. <laughs> We don't ask these questions. We were driven mad from not being able to complete Elder Sign. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and flippity dip this thing over. Are you ready? Yep. All right, let's do it. So. Ah! <laughs> okay, so uh, that'll be this one then. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> so that is my pointo. So, so it's not the colour that the thing represents, is what we're getting out. Pretty much. If it does match the colour, you just find that object. But in this event, since neither the colours match the object, then you just pick the odd one out, is the idea. Hmm. Okay. Alright then, so, yeah, next one. What? Uh, like that. <laughs> Alright, you are faster, you get it. Hey. Alrighty, and whoop, what's this one? Nope. Nope, that's not correct. Nope, that's not correct either. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, it's this one! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine. Actually, it'll be this one here for that one. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck it. <laughs> Flip. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? Like, All right. Asking to open a URL, I don't understand this. Um, it actually gives you the rules. Um, anytime there's a tablet, it will actually allow you to uh, pull up the rules. But apparently, the rules don't exist for this one. So uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me just pop these in the middle, and we'll uh, yes, go ahead. Uh, let's let's restart because I'm apparently retarded. What's going on? Hold on. I'm flipping these over so that I can uh, actually pop them in the deck. There we go. All right, there we go. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Okay. Are so you ready? It's a, game, it's a game of snap, but say if there's a green ghost, I want something that's not green. Yeah, you don't want anything that's green or the ghost, since they yeah. are mismatched. See, either you're matching the thing or you're finding the odd one out. Is the idea. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, make sure these have been shuffled. Are you ready? <sighs> okay. All right. Here we go. Here's the first one. Uh, oh. uh, it's not that one either. It's this one. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. Next one. No. Oh. <laughs> not quite. It's this one. But that's neither of them. Should yeah, that's the point. That, it's not. It's not either of them. <sighs> like I said, the idea is, is that you're looking for the matching. Uh, color and object, or you're looking for the odd one out. Oh, <laughs> my brain hurts. It's really, really weird how it actually works, but I insist that this is how it all goes down. Take your shitty card. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you're just throwing away my points now. What the hell's going on? <laughs> all right, come on. All right, yeah. Uh, next one. Yeah. Ah. White ghost. I think I might be colorblind. I keep seeing grey as white. Yeah, there's a bit of a problem that they have grey and white. Alright, next one. Uh, uh, no, it's not that one. It's... Uh, no, that one's white. It's the rat. It's the rat! <laughs> are you kidding me? That looks white. It is white. But the only one color that's not there and that uh, object is gray. Because we've okay, got the book, we've got the seat. I'm seriously, con I'm confused by this. Yeah, let me try and see if I can find a way to... Yeah, yeah let's get some rules, shall we? That would help. No, Anton's I getting cranky now. No, I'm, I'm seeing how it is exactly worded out in the rules. 
If one object is colored correctly, say a green ball or a red mouse, then the players need to grab that correctly colored object. If both objects are colored incorrectly, say a green ghost and a red mouse, then you look for the object and color not represented in the four details show. So like I said, in this case, the seat is represented because it's obviously there. Green is represented because of the bowl. White is represented because of the ghost. And the book is represented like that. So the odd one out would be the rat. Because neither the rat or grey colour is depicted in the picture. Oh. On the other hand, just, maybe, for this one here... Maybe it's just... Uh, I'm trying to talk here. Maybe it's just because there's so many variables, it's fucking with my brain. I guess that's partly where the challenge of the game is that there are a lot of variables in there. But do you... You reckon you got this? No, but I'm going to keep trying because I don't want to fuck up the stream. Alright, not a problem. Let us uh, set these back up in the middle and we shall give I'm it I'm really a sorry word. about this. I apologize. No, 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 it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's part of how board game blowout works. Sometimes the games just don't click with you. Alright, you're ready. you got to click your finger ready. Okay. Alright, here we go. First one. Uh... uh no, nope, that's uh, not right. <laughs> no, it's the uh, blue. Uh, no, nope. uh, green. It's the blue Fuck. book. <laughs> there we go. So that was mine. Seeing as neither blue or the book is represented. Hold on, let's rotate these around. I think my only issue with uh, this particular tabletop simulator version is if you uh, don't have them facing towards you, it can be quite hard to see which one's which. So we have to keep them ourselves like facing towards the pictures. All right, next one. Okay. Ready, set, and go. Uh, white Red. bottle, great book. Yep, that is right. You get that point. Oh my god, I got one finally. There we go. All right, ready for the next one? I am now. And go. Uh, nope. nope. Oh no, no. Wait, yes, in actual fact, it is. So, yep, that's your point. Damn right, it is. Alrighty. And next is Oop. this one. Uh, uh great. No, because the rat is in fact there, so it would actually be... The... Green! Yep, green bottle, that's right. <laughs> You're just going easy on me, though. <laughs> Alright, and next one is this guy here. And it green. is... Yep, you got it. There you go, you're starting to get it now. Alright, and next one is... Uh... Nope, it's this one. <laughs> also, yeah, this is... The uh, chair is done there, so that was me making a, a goof there. It's all good. Well, it's part of the chaos. You make little things like that. Alright, next one, and go! Mouse! Uh, no, fuck, wrong colour, fuck. Um, White ghost. Yeah, I should. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like chaos. how you just sort of throwing the things over there. Alright, uh, here's... The... Wait a minute, these are all the wrong way around. Hold on, let me rotate this a bit. And then, yeah, sure. that way, when I flip them, they'll be the right way around. Green. Nope, oh, red. Nope. Uh, uh. I've already oh, picked the right one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what are you doing? I got the right one here. <laughs> you, know, you know what this reminds me of? Remember that old episode of Family Guy where, like, the family is living in the Griffin's house and they're playing Pictionary or some shit? It's like, Jackal, Jackal, Jackal. I think it's a Jackal. If I didn't say it was a Jackal the first time, then why the hell would it be at the first fain hives? God! It just ducks over the table. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one. Alright, uh, next uh, is this one! Uh, no, 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 hang on. Do you pay attention to me exiting the server? That really hurts my feelings. No, I literally didn't see that. <laughs> Alright, I'll wait for you to get back here. I'll uh, tidy up the thing a bit. And apparently, out of the 21 hours of music, it has decided to play the same song. So for the benefit of the people, I'm going to change the song to something else. Uh, okay, I'm getting pissy now. Yeah, thank you. There we go. You're in. Alright, you ready? Is everything loaded in? Right? Yeah, I like my cards all hither and thither, thank you very much, in a pile. <laughs> Alright, you can have your messy pile. I'll have my clean little stack thing over there. Alright, next one is... This one. Uh, uh, green bottle. Right. No, because the ghost is there. I'll... That's a ghost. No, you see, you said it looked like a bullet, so I assumed it was a bullet. <laughs> no, that's meant to be a ghost. I was just remarking how it looks like a bullet. 
Alright. And next one. Three, two, one. Go! Uh, um, blue uh, book. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one. On. Three, two, one! Uh, uh ghost! Walk. That's mine. There we go, and next one. Three, two, one! Go! Uh, ghost! <laughs> you're quick on that one. There you go, you have that one. And three, two, one, go! Uh, blue book! Damn you, you just beat me to it. Alright. <laughs> and next one is. That! Uh, da, da, da. Nope, it's not. Oh, no, it is the ball. Never mind. That's me yeah, being a dum dum. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Uh, three, two, one, go! And. Uh, nope, uh, it's not uh, that one. Uh, great. That's my blue. No, it's the ball. Fuck! <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, next one. Three, two, one, go! And. Um, 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 white. Nope, it's the Red Sea. Fuck! Because <laughs> the green is because there's a ghost and the. <laughs> I'm catching up again. Alright, here this we go. This is dramatic. It really is. Alright, three, two, one. Alright, what have we got? What have um, we got with um, that? Um, no, um, yes. Yep, that's right, green bottle. That is yours. <laughs> I just launched a chair across the table. <laughs> Alright, next. Three, two, one, go! Uh, um, uh, uh, ball. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine, I think. Because I said it first. No, it's not either of those! It's the rat! <laughs> Fine, take your goddamn thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's meant to happen if you both get it wrong. I suppose you just grab the right one <laughs> afterwards. Alright then. Okay. Uh, Next one. Three, two, one, go! Uh, um, book. Uh, fuck. Man! <laughs> Alright then. Next one. Three. Hang on. Hang on. Just get my cars together. <laughs> sort your pile. How do I put them into a pile? There you go. Alright. You ready? Okay. Alright, you're good. Alright, three, two, one, go! Um, um. Jesus. Are you using <laughs> fucking Ultra Instinct or something? <laughs> oh, you noticed, did you? <laughs> Alright, then, next one. Three, two, one! Um, yep. Nope, it was the ball. Alright, then, next one. Three, two, one, go! Uh, um, blue book. Red. Fuck. Man. Alrighty. I'd want out, Tom. I'd want out. I'd want out. I'd want out. All right. Three, two, one, and go. Uh, um, um, mouse. No. Um, ghost. Yep, you're right. You I think you're right with the rat, to be honest, because that looks great from where I'm sitting. All right. Then. Next. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one, and go! Rat. Uh, red shit. Fuck. Man. You know, the red one kind of looks like a chili pepper, I just noticed. <laughs> oh, mm, lost connection to the server again. Uh, this has happened like five times this session. Yeah, I've been noticing it has been happening a bit more frequently lately. Maybe a way to fix that, potentially. Yeah, the red one literally does look like a chili pepper. It's kind of amusing. All right. Alright, let's go for these last lot then. Alright, three, two, one, and go! No, uh, no, um, um, yes. Actually, there's a white ghost there. Oh, I'm looking for the odd one out. No, like I said, if it's the same object in the same colour, then you look for that one. It's only when the two objects are different in terms of colour that you pick out oh, the odd one out. I'm I'm so retarded. I'm so sorry. Like, this is the problem with me doing live streams. You get to see how stupid I actually am. <laughs> oh, we've all done it at one point or another. Oh, God, I can probably name a few times I've done the exact same thing. Alrighty, then. Uh, I uh, want to put these in I want to put these in a neat thing. Can you help me? No. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I just I just love how I just tried that. I'm just like, nope. <laughs> Alright, let me put these in a neat little pile for you. An attempt was made. An attempt was made and subsequently failed. Mm. Alright, so if both objects match the colours on these, yeah. then you just have to pick the correct thing. But if there's an odd one out, you have to go for what's not shown on the card. Exactly. Alright, okay, so next go. one. Three, two, one, and go! Uh, yep, that is right. Alright, and... Jesus, you're kicking my ass. Three, two, one, and go! Uh, uh, blue book! Bottle? Nope, there's Fuck. a red bottle. Yep. Yours. Alrighty. Three more left. Three, two, one, and go! Uh, 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 bottle! Nope, there's green. Rat. Ah, oh, retarded color coding. Fuck. Alright, here we go. Second last one. Three, two, one, go! Uh, 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 red seat. Uh, no, he's bouncing the book at his head. <laughs> it is the red city. All right, and <laughs> here's the last one. Three, two, one. Uh, uh, you got uh, blue book. I put that on first. Yeah, but it's not a white ghost though. There's a blue book right there. Alright, there we go. So I win 20 to 10. Do you want to go another round? Yes, I fucking do. Alright, let us set us up for another round. Alright, so... Uh... If I have to end this, this fucking session like a petty little bitch, I will. <laughs> alright, alright. So uh, let's gather these all up. In a nice little pile in the middle. Alright, you can see your tokens okay. You can see which each one is. And then... <sighs> Shuffle the deck. Go boom. Alrighty. Let us start this thing. Is your trigger finger ready? Oh, I am fully triggered right now. I'm assuming that means you're ready then. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Alright then, here we go. First card. Three, two, one, go! Uh, White Ghost. Uh, yeah, you picked that one up before me. It is, in fact, yours, sir. Alright, uh, second. Three, two, one. And. Uh, blue book. Yes, that would be correct. There we go. Alright, next one. Three, two, one. Uh, 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 white. No, the rat's there. It's the blue book again. <sighs> Nicely done. Alrighty, here we go. Three, two, one. One. Uh, um, blue book. Yes, that is correct. All right, next one. Three, two, one. Uh, Great rat. Nope, rat's right there. It's a red furniture. Fuck. <laughs> I say like red furniture, like it's a <laughs> like it's a table or something. <laughs> oh dearie me. All right, here we go. Mounting a catch up again. Three. Two, one, go! Blue book. Hey, nicely done. That is yours. Alright, here we go. Next one. Three, two, one. Oh, nope. Let's try that again. There we go. Uh, uh nope. No, oh, it's not that one either. Uh, it's this one. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there You're we go. Barely winning. Yep, we will still one ahead of me. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one, flip. And it um, is. Um, grey rat. No, the rat's right there. It's the uh, green ball. You know what? Just. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's four apiece now. It's anybody's game. Here we go. Three, two, one, flip. Uh, um, um, blue. Yep, blue book. That is correct. Seems to be a blue book for a lot of these, to be honest. Uh. Alright, here we go. Next one. Three, two, one. Uh, uh Grey Rat! Fuck. Yeah, mine! <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Three, two, one. And. Um, 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 oh. <laughs> there we go. 
in the lead. There we go. Next one. Three, two, one. Flip. Uh, blue book. Um, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Cut short. Three, two, one. Flip. Uh, um, uh, um, white ghost. No, that's a grey ghost. Uh, which one is it? It's a green ball. Yeah. Very clearly white. The mouse is grey. That's white. Yeah, but there's a ghost on the card. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Break the pieces off. This is like, why aren't they going away? Where, where, like, where even are we? <laughs> I just noticed the background. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Are we in the middle of Zawaldo? <laughs> it's like we're in the null void zone or something. <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's enough marveling at what the fuck's going on in the background. Uh, let me see uh, what we can do now. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, um, 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 green ball. No, there's a bottle on the sofa. Uh, it's the white uh, ghost. Red. Uh, mouse. <laughs> um, 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 flip table. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Quick, rewind time! <laughs> there we go. By Santos store. Yo, does it? Actually, there's something really amusing I found at the convention. It was like 50 quid, but they actually had like a moving figure of um, sheer heart attack. That was rather cool. Alright, anyway, so that's mine. Oh, look, there, there he is. There's sheer heart attack right there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hand! Oh, I gotta do this with my left hand now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ready? Three, go. two, one, flip. Uh... Red. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, that's yours. Finally. So it's now nine to six. Okie dokie. See if we can mount a comeback. Here we go. Three, two, one. And green ball. Red. Fuck. Fine. So basically, if nothing matches there, wait, if stuff matches there, you have to pick what matches from there, but if it doesn't match, you have to pick something else. Yeah, you have to pick the other one out. Okay. There we go. But if the image is, but if the thing is on the card, then you just get that. Alright, here we go. Ready for the next one? As well as a bit. Alrighty then. Three, two, one. Flip. Green ball. Green ball. I got it before me. Damn right, it, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> All right, what then. I say to you. Here we go. Three, two, one. Leap. Uh, yep, you are right. There we go. Well, this is now eight to ten. All right, here's the next one. Three, two, one. Leap. Uh, um, blue book. Right. Fucking mass. <laughs> Okay, Mouse, why do you betray me so? Alright, here we go. Next one. Three, two, one. Flip. Uh, white Ghost. Uh, white Ghost. Ah, oh, damn it. I said it first, but I picked it up last. Shit, I my dick scrub. off. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was going with that. Man, you get really, really spicy when you get into some of these games. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Alright then, here we go. Next one. Three, two, one. Flip. Uh, um, um, no. Red. Uh, no, uh, green ball. No, it's the grey rat. No, it isn't. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> now I'm doing it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me put these back in the middle, because you've been chucking these all over the damn shop. Really? Oh, like that? <laughs> yes, exactly like that. Please stop. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're, we're trying uh, to play a game here, uh, god uh, damn it. And that. Uh, and that. Uh, oh, and can't forget these. <laughs> no, those are my points, you froob. Uh, I'm done now. Are you certain? Because <laughs> I'm still yeah. not entirely sure. <laughs> I'm good. Alright, let's carry on then. Here we go. Three, two, one. Flip. White ghost. Um, white ghost. Ooh. We said that at exactly the same time. Uh, I'm older, so I'm taking the card. You're not older than me. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even turned 29 yet. What the hell are you trying to pull? Oh, fine. Take your fucking white ghost, you racist. 
<laughs> How does that K make me Dad racist? Dead KKK member spinning a blue ball. Alcoholic fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What's with all this along? Just flip the fucking card, alright? Alright, alright, here we go. Three, two, one, flip. Uh, um, uh, red first. Um, Red's over. Mine. Uh, it's over. Alright, next one. Three, two, one. Flip. Uh, uh, red sofa. Uh, yeah. So it's now 14 to 10. So I just need two more to win in theory. Alright, here we go. Please. Next one. Three, two, one. Flip. Uh, 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 oh, what the f- uh, Spagus is on. White Ghost! Rick. No, I said that first. No, it's the White it's Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just need one more now. Here we go. Ready for the next one? Here we go. Yep. Three, two, one. Flip. Um, um, three balls. No, four. Three balls. Yep, you got it. <laughs> I was thinking that. Which fucking one is it? <laughs> Alright, let's put the bottle back in the middle, and then we'll get the next one going. Here we go. Three, two, one, flip, and... White ghost. No, the rat is white. Uh, green ball. Green ball. Ah, god damn it. Nice. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Ready for the next one? Yes. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Blue book. Hate you so goddamn much. <laughs> Mine. All right. Do you want to play to? Yeah, uh... you've won. Yep, I win. No, you've won by default. Hurrah! All right, let's see what the other two are. Uh, that and that. So. Uh... Yeah. Well, here's the strategy. I don't think you ever fucking saw coming. Okay. <laughs> Look at this shit. I'm gonna play this in defense mode, and then play all of these on top of these, and that's a tribute summon. So then I get every single one of your cards, and oh. Would you look at that? I win. I have 28. You have two. Fuck off with your cards. Yeah, but you haven't considered this. You know, my deck may have no weak monsters, Kyber, but it does contain the unstoppable Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> <laughs> now, Steve Austin, obliterate! <laughs> oh, I'm fucking done. I'm done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this absolute clusterfuck of Ed Tom and Vox board game blowout Halloween edition. Sorry we couldn't even attempt Elder Sign. It was a bit too beyond my mortal comprehension, but uh, I had a lot of fun with uh, Ghost Blitz, uh, Zombie Dice, and Gloom. Uh, Gloom is probably my least favorite, just because uh, I prefer upbeat games, but I, I can see like I can see why it's a good game. You know? Yeah. Elder Sign was just a bit too above me, but Ghost Blitz, holy shit. Oh, that's the most challenged I've been in a game in a while. And it was probably one of the most simple as well. Yeah, it's one of those just... It's one of those games that just thrive on chaos and you just forget how to brain. So, it's Ugh. just one of those games that just catches you at your absolute worst. You're just like, why did I not think of that? But that's half the mm -hmm. fun. And, um, yeah. Yep. I think that should just about do it for our spooky Halloween session of Board Game Blowout. I'm thinking next week... I might try and introduce you to one or two abstract games, and I've got a couple ready. Uh, well, 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 next week is normal stream, don't forget this is fortnightly now, so get your games, yep. show them what you're ass, pull them out <laughs> next time we're ready. I hope you expect me to clean them as well, because otherwise... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you do have shitty taste, let's put it that way. <clears throat> oh, uh, shots kill. fired! Have you heard this man? This is the boss I have to put up with. <laughs> uh, well, I, I don't feel good about shilling the Patreon now. Patreon.com forward slash hellfire comes. Subscribe today. Pledge today. Um, get a quick look. New quick look coming soon. I think you'll like it. Alright guys, I'm fucking tired and full of pizza. Bye! <laughs> See you later guys.